For this month, Patreon supporter Zaboomafu requested me to look at Little Women, specifically an adaptation that was released last year. Little Women was, of course, originally a book written by Louisa May Alcott in the 19th century, and it's been adapted to the screen many, many times. I've never read the book, but I have seen two other film adaptations before this one, the 1933 version with Katharine Hepburn and the 1994 version starring Winona Ryder. So I know the general basics of the story as it follows the character of Jo March as she attempts to become a novelist, while also dealing with love, loss, family, and all sorts of predicaments. We also learn about her sisters and the close relationships and occasional spats they have with one another. The main difference with the 2018 adaptation is that it's set in present day. So how does this modern update fare? Not particularly well. This is the kind of movie that's directed and written without an ounce of subtlety. It has to spell everything out to the audience, sometimes in the dialogue and sometimes in the acting. It also makes the decision to tell most of the movie in flashbacks as we jump back and forth between Jo March struggling with her writing career and her younger years back home. I understand why the filmmakers did this, but I'm not sure it entirely works. There are far too many montage scenes set to sappy music. I lost count after a while of how many of them were inserted into the movie. This also affects the pacing, which is really slow. Even though this version is only a few minutes shorter than the 1994 adaptation, it feels so much longer. The other problem is I don't get the sense of this being a close family unit, partly due to the heavy emphasis on Joe. Yes, she's the main character, but I did not buy into the bond they have, which has an effect on the drama. There are little scenes here and there that focus on her sisters, but not enough. I also never bought into Joe's relationships with Lori and the Professor. The biggest problem with this version of Little Women is Joe, who is made so unlikable. In other adaptations I've seen, she is certainly flawed, as the best characters often are. She's prone to anger sometimes, and is probably a little too self-obsessed with her writing to the detriment of everything else, but we still root for her to succeed and find happiness. Here, she is written as cranky whenever she is on screen. In almost every scene, she is made to be so angry it comes across as incredibly entitled. I don't want to be too harsh on the actress, though, because she has obviously been directed to act like a psychopath. It's such an unusual creative choice. When Winona Ryder played the role, she was able to find the right balance with the character, so you could at least understand her bursts of anger whenever they occurred, and you could also see she loved her sisters despite their squabbles. Watching this movie, I wondered if Joe even liked her family. I grew genuinely worried at a few points that Joe would stab Amy March, as she's frequently shown staring with crazy eyes. We're supposed to buy Joe becoming smitten with the professor who reads her manuscript, but most of their screen time is spent on her talking down to him or arguing with him. Why am I supposed to like this character? She's a horrible person. Are there any bright spots in this movie? Well, Leah Thompson is good as the mother, but she's always good. Otherwise, the movie turns Little Women into an overly sentimental teen drama that surprisingly did not premiere on Freeform. Nope, this got a theatrical release, which was primarily marketed towards a faith-based audience. Although outside of Beth wearing a cross, the movie is not overtly religious, with even its depiction of Christmas being the more secular, commercialized version. Honestly, watching this adaptation makes me even more excited for the new one opening next month, directed by Greta Gerwig and starring Sir Sharon. I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy that take a lot more. Thank you for your request, Zomumafu.